Ignite Work Network Plus is a project that is funded through the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council and it is a network to bring together researchers from underrepresented backgrounds uh, from across the UK university sector and researchers within industry and what we're hoping to do is to support those individuals um, to achieve a greater success and a more inclusive um, environment for them. So we want to look at the barriers to their progression and their success and remove them. So I lead the Ignite network and I pulled the group of universities and industry partners together um, to, to win this project and to drive it forward. The main aim of the Ignite Network is to support underrepresented individuals in energy research and when I say that I want to support their success in a future landscape in research. So it's looking at what are the systematic barriers at the moment against success, identifying those challenges and making sure that we remove those barriers. So I think that historically there has been an emphasis on training individuals to do better in the existing system. And what we are really interested in doing here is not doing that, it's looking at the system itself, identifying the systematic barriers that, that individuals face and removing them so that we're all playing on a level playing field. So it's important to have a project like Ignite now because there's lots of data and information emerging that shows that the underrepresentation under of individuals within energy research is a systematic inequality. So it's due to systematic biases in the system and not because the people from different backgrounds don't want to go into this as a career. So they are inhibited by a numerous barriers from doing so by having to overcome a lot of challenges. Data is emerging around that and what we want to do is identify those barriers and look at ways that we can systematically remove them. So this network is specific to energy research. Clearly the, what we're looking for is, is needed across the whole of academia, but it's specific to energy research. And I think that the Research Council, EPSRC, picked this area for funding because there is good evidence that a more diverse set of researchers are more innovative and more productive and are more likely to solve a challenge. There's good evidence of that now. This is the biggest challenge we have. Net zero is the, la the, the biggest challenge that faces our generation. And we don't have all the answers as it stands at the moment. And if we want to have those answers, the best chance we have is a diverse community of researchers. So this is a really important area to break those barriers down. And